Deep within the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa, a remarkable discovery unfolded in 2013. A team of explorers and scientists unearthed a treasure trove of ancient bones, revealing a previously unknown relative of ours, Homo naledi. This remarkable find sent ripples through the scientific community, challenging our understanding of human evolution. Homo naledi, named after the Sesotho word for star, possessed a unique mosaic of primitive and modern features. Their small brains, comparable in size to an orange, contrasted with their surprisingly human-like hands and feet. These features hinted at a species capable of both arboreal agility and terrestrial dexterity. The rising star cave system, with its treacherous depths and narrow passages, became a time capsule, preserving the remains of numerous Homo naledi individuals. The sheer volume of fossils recovered, over 1,500 bones representing at least 15 individuals provided an unprecedented glimpse into the lives and deaths of these ancient hominins. The discovery of Homo naledi raised more questions than answers. Who were these enigmatic beings? How did their remains end up in the depths of the rising star cave? And what light could they shed on the story of our own origins? These questions captivated the imaginations of scientists and the public alike, igniting a quest to unravel the mysteries surrounding Homo naledi. If you enjoyed this exploration into our ancient past, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Africa Rides. Like, share, and leave a comment to join the conversation. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more updates and insights. What truly set Homo naledi apart was not just their unique anatomy, but also the startling possibility of their complex behaviors. The arrangement of their remains within the rising star cave hinted at something profound. The deliberate disposal of their dead. The bones were found in a remote chamber, accessible only through a narrow, winding passage. The absence of any other animal, remains, or signs of disturbance suggested that this chamber was not a natural death trap, but a place intentionally chosen for internment. This notion of intentional burial, if confirmed, would rewrite our understanding of the timeline of human behavior. Deliberate burial, long regarded as a hallmark of modern human cognition and cultural complexity, was previously thought to have emerged much later in our evolutionary history. The Homo naledi burials, if indeed they were burials, predate the earliest known human burials by an astounding 100,000 years. This finding challenged the prevailing notion that large brains were a prerequisite for complex behaviors, such as burying the dead. Adding further intrigue to the Homo naledi story was the discovery of engravings deep within the rising star cave system. On the walls of a chamber adjacent to the fossil deposits, researchers found a series of geometric patterns seemingly etched into the dolomitic rock. The engravings, consisting of lines, crosses, and other shapes, were arranged in seemingly deliberate patterns, hinting at a possible symbolic meaning. Dating these engravings proved challenging, but initial estimates suggested they could be as old as the Homo naledi fossils themselves. If confirmed, this would make them the oldest known cave art in the world, predating even the earliest known examples attributed to Homo sapiens. The discovery of these engravings, if indeed created by Homo naledi, raised profound questions about the cognitive abilities of these small-brained hominins. Could these engravings represent an early form of symbolic communication? Were they territorial markers, ritualistic symbols, or perhaps even attempts at artistic expression? Section 4, The Small Brain with Big Ideas, Challenging Our Assumptions The emerging picture of Homo naledi challenged the long-held assumption that brain size directly correlated with behavioral complexity. Here was a hominin with a brain no larger than a chimpanzee's, yet exhibiting behaviors previously thought to be the exclusive domain of larger-brained hominins, including early humans. This revelation forced a re-evaluation of our understanding of the evolution of intelligence and behavior. Could it be that the intricate neural wiring of the brain, rather than its sheer size, played a more significant role in shaping complex behaviors? Did Homo naledi possess a unique combination of neural adaptations 
that allowed them to develop sophisticated behaviors despite their small brain size. The discoveries at Rising Star highlighted the need for a more nuanced view of human evolution, one that moved beyond simplistic correlations between brain size and intelligence. Section 5. The Expanding Tapestry of Humanity, Homo Naledi's Enduring Legacy. The story of Homo Naledi is a profound reminder of the vastness and complexity of the human family tree. Their discovery challenged our assumptions and expanded our understanding of the range of behaviors possible in our ancient relatives. While many questions about Homo Naledi remain unanswered, their legacy is undeniable. They have earned their place in the grand tapestry of human evolution, adding a new thread to the intricate story of our origins. Their small brains with big ideas continue to spark debate and inspire further exploration into the depths of our shared past. The quest to understand Homo Naledi is far from over. As researchers delve deeper into the rising star cave system and other sites around the world, they continue to uncover new clues about these fascinating hominids. Each new discovery brings us closer to piecing together the puzzle of Homo naledi and their place in the grand narrative of human evolution. One thing is certain, the story of Homo naledi, like the story of human evolution itself, is full of surprises, challenging us to broaden our perspectives and embrace the unknown. 